Hello guys, this is Alex here again and today I'm going to show you how to make Bart Simpson maybe it's collection, I don't know but first we'll make him and then we will see how this video goes and maybe I will make more so this is head, I mean not whole head but it's simple, I don't need to show you step by step, I'll only tell you how many pieces you need. So this is base of 8 pieces per row and first row are, are inverted and then you need to put 9 more rows, so 10 rows in total, like this. So first inverted and 9 more rows and 8 pieces per row and this is 164 pieces almost whole toy is 164 you can make it bigger and it should look like this this is head and what we need more for head you need to make something like this this is bottom part of the mouth and part of the neck so take three pieces 164 and then put in vertically on top of them two pieces like this yellow and then on top put two pieces but put three tops in, in one piece like this so we keep inverted pieces this is front part and this is bottom part and then just put one more piece on top to secure this not to move and when you make this you just need to put and glue here and at the bottom part so this is front part just like this more at the back part glue more at the back part something like this as you can see and for nose for nose you need to make something like this so this is 164 piece, you just need to open piece, bend this top part and close. And then this side is top part, top side. And you just need to put some somewhere here. That's the row number 5, so put there and then put ears. in third row on side like this and for ears it's easy to make you just need to take one piece 128 and make leg so make leg with 128 look like this and then eyes you just need to glue on side here two separately eyes don't make too small because it's not that small somewhere here and then you should glue this here and that's it so that's the head for easier connecting you can put one piece inside here and then just push all the way in, in bottom part of the head and of course put some glue and I recommend to glue all pieces for head because it's 8 pieces per row and that's it and top of head you push pieces like this outside don't don't leave like some kind of triangle because it's not and that's it test here and now now we need to make body I already made this because it's of course <laughs> simple just need to make base and then put rows and how to make this first two rows are blue pieces and then you need to put five more rows of red pieces so for shirt 
11 pieces per row. I don't know why 11. It's it was best amount of pieces for body when I test everything and 164. So two rows of blue and five rows of red and one more thing. You need to put here on top one row of inverted red pieces. Because of shape it's better to put top row inverted. Of course you cannot make 100% same look Bart with 3D origami but still it will be a similar <laughs> and then just push them together like this so you can get this kind of shape. So this is that part and now you need to put some pieces for part of pants. So somewhere put at the bottom part here put four pieces. One to each other of course. So four pieces like this. And then three on top. One more. Like this. So this is for example front, front part and now we need to make that bo uh, back part. For back part we need to put, because it's one piece per row, you can see we have half of piece free here and then skip one piece and then put inside of one piece one piece like this like making a stick don't make be between pieces because we need four not five and put four same method you see like this in piece don't put like this between pieces, put in piece. Because we have one and a half piece space between front and back part here. And one more time. As you can see, same space here. And then just need to put three pieces on top. And you finish with that. I mean on this side and three pieces on top normally of course between pieces that put all the way in don't need to like that as you can see so that's it and now we need to make legs and hands so how to make that for yellow part of legs and hands is pretty much similar only you don't have fingers so take two pieces and put one on top and then put two on top and one on top two more pieces on top so like this and now we will make leg first. So make two times. You need the same thing for leg for hand. Here at the bottom part, in vertically put two white pieces inside of this yellow, like this. Like that. And now for part of the pants. You need to take three blue pieces and then put two on top and then put three on top. And that's it. This depends. And you just need to put this yellow pieces normally inside of this blue. And connect. And now we need to make shoes. So how to make that? Take three blue pieces and then put two on top 
and then put the tree on top. Like this. And then you need to put two on top, but put three tops in one piece. Increase like this. And then one more piece on top here. And for connecting you can use blue or, or white piece. Just while you fold back like this. And then you vertically put here at the bottom of these two white pieces and just slide in this last piece, last blue piece you put like this. And that's it. That's the leg. What you need to do with this? You just need to choose which is front or back part and then you can open this a little bit and then just put some glue and push inside. Squeeze a little bit and of course this leg is glued, this not, so I will remove this feet. You don't need to see feet when you, when I show you how to put inside. Just need to squeeze this a little bit like this and then put one to each other between these two parts. Of course when you put glue it will hold in place. So something like this. As you can see. And then you can push this back and front part. And that's it. That's the pants. So it should look like this. And for hand I told you, you need to make something like this two one two one two and then you need you just need to put fingers and part of the shirt so for fingers you just need to make four times while you folded 164 piece yellow color like this and then put one here like this in vertically and next to it one more so we have four fingers and on this side one, two, one more. And then when you put thumb, you put in different size, don't put in the same side side. So this is left arm and for right we we'll put here. So put normally inside, don't put like these fingers in same hole as you put this one. like this you see and that's it you can take out a little bit this middle one if you put like I do <laughs> like this and that's it now we need to make part of the shirt so you need to make something like this three pieces red and then two on top and then put three on top, but put three tops in one piece, like that, like this. And then final step, one piece on top to secure. And then normally put inside this. You see, just put in the middle. Like this. And you will glue this on side here. Like this. And of course, when you put head, this is front part, so you just push inside and put some glue around this much. Put more and then glue head on top like this and you just need to put hands on side here not bad at all <laughs> and one more thing I will make I don't make tutorial for this but I'll show you how to make his skateboard why not 
this is the model Not, nothing special or complicated just need to show you how to make these wheels so you can pause video now and count how many pieces 164 everything and where to put red where to put green and you can pause now first you need to make two times legs I mean it's not real leg you need to shape a little bit round so you can use gray pieces and make something like this and if someone made that airplane <laughs> you can use that kind of I mean my model of air airplane if you made you can use that wheels but this is much more realistic to make this whole thing and make this two times I will just show you for one one pair of wheels like this and then take one more gray piece and while you fold back on one side in vertically put one wheel inside of this like this so in vertically and on the other side just slide between like this put some glue and slide and then when you put glue and slide like this just squeeze like this and wait until it dries a little bit and then put on top part here on this part put some glue and then just go into places and that's it that's the skate and you and I probably will do that I will glue him on skateboard or you can just put on side here I don't know what is better. What do you think is better? You can put in his hand or something like this. Maybe it's better to stand. Because if you cannot balance him to stand properly, you can you can glue him on skateboard and then use skateboard, skateboard as some kind of stand for him and that's it so that's all parts you just need to glue everything and connect everything so and I will do that now <laughs> so when I finish I will show you how it looks so guys when you finish with gluing with everything it should look something like this I put him on skate because it's better for balancing and he can stand with no problem and it's look good as you can see that's the part if you like this part you can like this video and share this video please and comment this video and Subscribe to my channel for more videos and more tutorials. And that's pretty much it. You can visit my Facebook page if you want to see more toys that I don't have tutorials and like this page <laughs> if you have time. So that's it guys. Take care and I see you soon. Bye.